Hello everybody, SDM here once more um, with a new video. This is completely different to anything I've ever done. So I'm really nervous, I don't know if you can tell. Already I'm chatting waffle. Um, but no, this is the first time that I've ever played Let's Play story mode. I've only ever played The Sims a lonesome or with a friend. This is the first time that I've done it whilst talking to people, so this is going to be very interesting. This is my new crest. Um, it's still under construction. You can see around here, this is where I first um, got my laptop and first did a CC shop. We quickly have a sneak peek before we go into the story because today Today is just going to be about let's play, me getting into it, it's nothing too rigid, nothing too constrained because I don't want to put myself off, put too much pressure on myself, you know, I just want to have some fun, so let's just have some fun and then maybe on the next video we could maybe structure something, but let's just see where it goes, shall we? Let's not have a plan, let's just see what happens. Um, so yeah, this is where I um, first went CC shopping. And it was like, seriously guys, I mean, I don't know how it was for you, but the first time I, I discovered CC and CC shopping, I was just like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. So I went crazy and I, I literally bought so much, I say bought, um, I downloaded so much stuff. I downloaded so much stuff. I'm a builder and I, one of my favourite things is to furnish, so I love to build and to create different shapes as unusual as I can get it or as, as authentic as I can get it depending on my mood but I really love to, to furnish things and to, to breathe life into things. Let's take ourselves to afternoon so we can actually see it shall we. Okie dokie then so yeah I was gonna say I do apologize if it looks a bit shaky because um, this is on a laptop I am looking to upgrade to everything very very soon so yeah, where, sh where should we start? Let's just start here. So this is literally all of the CC furniture that I currently have in my game. I think I might have downloaded a couple of extra things, but I can pretty much go through the stuff that I, I use. Like, I love this shelf. Let's get rid of that, shall we? That looks better. I love this shelf. It's so minimalist, but quite you know earthy and natural and yeah it's me and then this is very sort of 1970s shapes styles because I am becoming a little bit obsessed with that at the moment as well um this was a cushion that I downloaded and I just love it's got so many this one's my favorite one of it but it's got three but this one's awesome this one would look really cool in like a, a gothic teenage girl's bedroom where she's going through the stage where she's maybe experimenting with wicker and she's like yeah I've just watched the craft let's be a witch yes that's definitely what I did <laughs> if in case you're wondering that's definitely what I did this is a really cute little outside garden outside bench garden bench sort of type thing slightly Tahiti kind of beach vibes so me preparing for Solani, I've actually just realised that I could put this in my island living. In my Solani, it would look quite nice on the island. So I, I shall be doing that. Um, I got this more modern one. I wanted to download furniture for the outside. Because you just don't get a lot, really, at all. Um, I also downloaded a, a crap ton <laughs> of sofas. Like, look, I went insane. Look how much I downloaded. But look, they are nice though. This one is probably one of, it was one of my favourites at the time. It's lovely. I've used it in a couple of my builds, especially this one and that one as well. But yeah, really nice. This I never sort of used. <laughs> I downloaded it. I downloaded the whole set to be fair with you. Um, I, th I can't even remember why. But I don't like it. It kind of feels like, you know one of those camp beds that you might have as a kid um, for your mates to come and sleep over and it kind of like futons out so that sort of goes back there. That spreads out here when you throw a little 
kind of blanket over it to cover it up when you're not using it. It kind of gave me that sort of feeling. So I've um, I've not played this game yet. You know, this is this is going to be the first time that I go into live mode and I actually play with the Sims that I've created and the worlds that I've created so far. So this is going to be a huge learning curve for me. I'm not going to know what I'm doing half the time. So please do bear with me. If you wish to leave, I completely understand. Go flee, flee the building. I'm I'm in no way offended if you feel the need to leave because I'm a complete noob at this and if anything you might get some laugh laugh value out of me you know laughing at not with never never with more more of an at type situation and if you're down for that then I guess you can remain anyway back to the sofas back to the furnishings so yeah I downloaded so many sofas it's ridiculous I've used this on countless builds with a beautiful little cushion on it. Yeah, yes please. Yes, madame. I'll have five of those ones. Yeah, more sofas. This was a cute I thought I li I thought I liked this whilst I was shopping. Um I've used it a couple of times, but I don't think I like it. These on the other hand, these are all iconic. This is just gorgeous. This is in the conspiracy theory slash bachelor pad pad. <laughs> This is this features prominently in there, most certainly. And then we've got some what what's this called again? Is it rattan? Rattan Rattan furniture. We've got a rattan little sofa here. I swear I put cushions on there. Someone's had me cushions. Well, you know, to be honest with you, if you're gonna leave your furniture out in the open with absolutely no protection whatsoever, it's those guys. I know it. Who is that? Oh that's <gasps> Oh my gosh, is this where I am? In the neighbourhood, yeah. So that building right here is... Oh my gosh. I'm so excited, I've lost control of what I'm doing. Here we go. Christ. Right, so yeah, this is the um, inn that I'm currently building. It's called De Paris, and it is a and b that my fiancé and I stayed at um, in... Bedfordshire, the U in the UK, and yeah, I wanted to rebuild it, recreate it. We stayed in this top tier room up here, which I can't get to, which is super frustrating. But yeah, it's so pretty. I have filmed it as well, so this may very well be a speed build pretty soon as well. It's not finished though. It's not finished. There's a couple of rooms in there that still need completing, but that was fun. That was fun. This is me just showing you what I've been doing, literally. That's what this video is about. Me just chatting, chatting a bit of rubbish because you all know I like to do that. Waffle on Mika. And I also like to refer to myself in third person as well, I've realised. Since starting these videos, I've referred to myself in the third person numerous times. And this is not something that I do in normal life. So it's a little bit strange that this persona has um, befallen me whilst making these videos does that happen to anybody else what of you you simmers out there that make youtube videos when you start making commentary for your videos you suddenly find yourself just talking absolute rubbish because i have right okay so this is super cute this is a bowl this one has some um really nice swatches this one and nope that changed the wrong one but that's another one for you very nice swatches that one's so pretty and some plates as well because this is clutter for my kitchen and I like boho chic so that's the sort of, I don't know if you can notice <laughs> look at what we're looking at right now I think it's pretty obvious pretty obvious that I like boho chic I'm just going to turn that music down a bit because it is kind of deafening me why have I had it so loud good lord anywho bowls oranges sliced these also change colour, the little bowls underneath them. Not particularly exciting, but there we go. Um, I love these peacock windows. I downloaded these. Um, they come in two sizes, the large one and a smaller one, obviously. Two sizes. Um, I also downloaded these attachments as well. The, I say attachments, they're sort of for building. So you're putting them on 
the outside of buildings. I have used these a couple of times. They're really effective. They're quite cool. Um, this was a, a, a bed headboard. So if I take this bed away <laughs> and all of the cushions, you can see that it's a headboard specifically for a bed. Um, I've never used it. I've not used it once. I've not had an occasion where I thought it's called for it. I still like it though, so I think I'm going to use it at some point. But just not yet. Let's go inside, shall we? Hoo -hoo. What's going on in here? Doesn't this just look like an IKEA showroom? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. This is exciting. It's been such a long time since I've looked in here. I kind of forget what I have, so it's good to refresh my memory. But I really do need to delete this lot because it's just literally a pile of furniture. Um, so this art is obviously way smaller than that, but I just enlarged it. And I've used that specific art in that size for the nightclub, the key club as well. Um, it looks awesome. It's so effective. And I love this sofa as well. It's so cute. I've not added those, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I didn't add those cushions though. Yep, yeah, no, they come with it. So that's really cute. And then I went a little bit obsessive with these. I was like, oh my god, floor cushions and poofs and everything. Let's put some cheats on, shall we? Um, so yeah, we've got a couple of mirrors. I've got this beautiful floor standing uh, mirror that I've, I can't stop using. This is literally featured in every single one of my builds that I've done so far. I love it, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. And then we have this gorgeous peacock mirror. Um, it's so faint, but if you can see, it has peacock. And I'd love to be able to get all of this, the links to this CC for you, but this is when I very first started doing it and I had no idea what I was doing. And, and as, you, as you can quite plainly see, I went insane. I went crazy with the CC shopping. I was just like, give me all of it, give me all of it now. These curtains I've used in countless, countless builds, really have, just going to grab myself a bit of tea here, curtains in countless builds, I love them, they come in a couple of swatches, so we've got like a grey colour, and then we've got a white and black. So, very modern, very, very modern. I need to download more curtains, to be honest with you. I didn't download a lot. This is a tapestry, but you can totally use it as a blind. I have used it as a blind a couple of times, but it comes in some really, really gorgeous swatches. Like, oh, they're so pretty. I love that one. I mean, this is just me. I love boho chic. This is, this is my style. So obviously the first time I went CC shopping, I literally just shopped for me. I didn't particularly like I'm going shopping and like it's actually going to be in my home. No, but I did go shopping for me, I guess. And um, yeah, it was literally just boho. I wanted this sort of boho, but I also like a, a spritz, a spritz in of modern there um, and sort of Eastern, sort of Eastern dream inspired just colourful, colourful, artsy crap. <laughs> it's eclectic, basically. Eclecticism is what I uh, what I live for, just in every aspect of life. It really is. Um, so that's basically what I downloaded. But the next time that I go CC shopping, and I really want to take you guys with me, uh, but the next time I go CC shopping um, is going to be for more specific things, like for either themes or for a specific build that I'm going to do. So I know what I'm what I'm looking for. I'm not just randomly thinking, oh, well, that's nice. Oh, yes, I'll have one of them as well. Oh, yes, that looks pretty. I'll just download that as well. I, I swear to God, I've got like 700... So it's, it's something stupid it's something stupid but um, I do really need to cull that down because there are some things that I just don't like but these are all really pretty these have been used a couple of times again the, the swatches are lovely for some of them like this one for instance 
you have the N still, so if your sim if your sim's name begins with N, then you are sorted on that one. If it doesn't, then I can't tell you what the relevance is, to be fair with you. <laughs> Use it anyway, because it is quite cool. Um, I love this shelving unit, and I keep forgetting to use it. It's the darndest thing, but I keep forgetting to use it. But I do enjoy it, it's, it's cute. This light, I've just used in everything. It's just a lovely little light. I mean, this is the size it comes in. Like, honestly, it's friggin' massive. So you do have to size it down somewhat so as it looks normal. Because, you know, we can't be... We can't be rocking that size of a lantern on every occasion. It's just staffed. I also downloaded these little extensions to stairs so you can have um, a little bit more of a fancy staircase scenario going on um i have to admit i mean i played around with it for a little bit i didn't want to spend too much time doing it i can remember not wanting to do that um i played around with it a little bit and yeah it's fun i mean you know they can be used as shelves which is, which is pretty cool they can be used as shelves and i have used them a couple of times in i've used them in one of the bars that i made in the key club I use them because obviously stairs you can't use as as shelving but with these ones you can so that is pretty friggin awesome to be fair with you and now that I have come to realize that <laughs> more and more you know I f really do feel like I need to be utilizing this more why am I not using these properly that's what I don't understand. Oh, see, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I was growing up, as soon as I walked in the house, I put my shoes at the bottom of the stairs, and my mum used to go crazy. Really bad. <laughs> but yeah, so that's really cool. What do you think? What do you guys think? Would you use them? I got everything. Everything downloaded here, I got from The Sims Resource. Absolutely everything. Um, I didn't go anywhere else. It was just the Sims resource. Don't you? I really wish that there was like a little hovering camera there. <laughs> so we were actually here. We made we made some differences, you know. You know, but no, we're just vampires. A lot of us were all vampires, just creepily hovering around in these Sims' lives, building their houses for them and deciding what they're going to do. Gosh, that does not put us in a good light does it guys <laughs> I take it all back I didn't mean it I didn't mean a word I love this cabinet though it's back to the furniture Michaela my gosh back to the furniture there I go again third person it's creepy I need to stop doing it I dislike it dislike button no not dislike button that wouldn't work for me either um I just promised I'd stop doing it okay cabinet I love the is 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 there more colours? Is there more colours? I'm sure there is. Oh yeah, it's this one that I enjoy. The sort of um, what is it duck shell, duck egg blue, duck egg blue colour, which is the same colour as my bedroom. One of my favourite colours. I love it. So yeah, this is about it for for the CC furniture, I believe. Yeah, I got a couple of net curtains as well. They're really cute. I've used them a couple of times. So yeah, this is the CC, the awning. And um, I have definitely since got more CC since this. But this was my first initial explosion of, oh my gosh, I need CC in my life immediately. And look at these apples and oranges. They're so cute. or peaches maybe they're pomegranates actually I'm not too sure but yeah and then we've got this really nice rug that has quite a nice sort of texture to it which is lovely um and yeah okay so we have these are um, the people that I've made and the houses that I've built so far basically like from a residential point of view everything else that I've done has been commercial like this is the key club um, this is the lock shopping center which I still need to rename I still do need to rename that but that's the shopping center that I built um, 
which I'll give you a bit of a tour around. I did make a video of that, but all of the files got corrupted because it was all done with um, Xbox rec recording thingy that came with my that came with the laptop um, with Windows. So that was super disappointing, like really heartbreaking. A lot of um, a lot of files were ruined, and I just couldn't really make a video. So I'm, I am making a video of one. My conspiracy theory build, unfortunately, has been affected by that. Um, the conspiracy theory house is this one just here. The conspiracy theorists. There, there are the lads. There are the boys. Um, so it's the conspiracy theorist slash bachelor pad because they're all bachelors. They've all got something going on basically I think they do anyway I've not met them personally because as I said I've just made them and placed them there and carried on with with everything else um but yeah so this is Hale so these are the ladies that we're going to be playing with uh, um today you've got Matilda who's the beautiful blue haired um, lady just there and then we've got Gretchen and Gretchen Gifford um, and Matilda Hale. So these guys are um, best friends, basically. Ha and um, Gretchen has literally just moved in with Matilda. So this is Matilda's house, and Gretchen has just been through something. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's just happened. Like, I need to equate myself with them um, as well because I can't remember the traits that I've given them. I literally can't remember anything. So this is going to be sort of an introduction for all of us, really, to these two lovely ladies. Okay. Okay, so let's pause the game. Right, okay, so, oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you just hear me just clap my hands? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, I need, to, oh, I need to breathe. I need to breathe. Right, okay, so, as I have said, I have not been in play mode. Like, I've not met my characters that I've created. Oh, hello. Hey, Gretchen. Hey, girl. What? Here we can immediately see one of my CC bombs. <laughs> And this is some of my CC wallpaper as well. This is, um, okay, let's just come out of it, shall we? We're on pause, we'll come out of it. Let's just breathe for a second, Michaela, before you go straight in there. Let's just bring everything up and breathe, okay. Right, okay, so this is the Hail Cottage. Um, I wanted it to be very traditional. I wanted the neighbourhood to have a very quite quite a traditional feel. So we've got two builds back here. So this was my first build and this was my second build. Um, so I wanted the aesthetics to be quite traditional. Um, this is the the sort of um, part of the neighbourhood that's a little bit cheaper and then these guys have obviously been settled here for a little bit longer, they've built extensions, they've you know spent a little bit of money on the outside of their, their, their builds. This one is a converted church um, and the family that lives there is this dude here. Um, so there's a lot of, there's a, there's, I don't even know what these guys have been doing whilst I've been away, right? because this is Riku Tanis, so already we have drama going on and we haven't even started the game. So this is Riku Tanis. He lives there, because this is the Tanis household, and he lives there, he's supposed to be living there with his wife, this lady, Bijou. Um, <laughs> but Matilda, this blue-haired little harlot sorry this blue haired little harlot right here she's got like nearly a full are they engaged does that mean that they're engaged they're soulmates when did that happen how's Bijou taking this does she know I mean they're kind of they know each other oh my god so already I've got an affair that I have to sort of deal with when I when I start playing so that will be interesting so yeah this is the Tannis household um, it might not be the happiest household right now as I I mean you know as I've literally just discovered this Gwen lives here so this is Gwen de Lacey um, not, a lot, not a lot is known about Gwen at this point I know a little bit more about her you know I created her um, 
but not but Matilda and Gretchen they don't really know her that well because um Matilda basically she inherited this house from her parents that have just passed away sort of in the last sort of couple of years so this is this is the storyline that I sort of have in my mind so just go 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 with it whilst the imagination is playing let's let's just go with it so yeah so she inherited this house basically from her parents and um she moved in over the last sort of year or so so she spent the last year solidly renovating it um, because as you can see she's got some inheritance money as well um her parents were quite wealthy um she's she's sad about it as well she's she's putting on a brave face i would imagine because she's a brave sim like i said i've not played with them enough to to get to know them and whatnot but um but i just feel like she's the kind of simulim that would put a brave brave face on it and just i mean look what she's done to the house already she's it initially was clad in this white stuff the same as the rest of the neighborhood so even the converted church has kept some of that but she's just been like no i want it to be mine it's all coming off i'm getting wooden paneling put on some beautiful beautiful brickwork as we know we've got the lovely gretchen um who just knows matilda because like i said she's just she's only just moved in so Matilda's been here for about a year now and she's obviously made herself quite known. Um, she's made not really any friends but apart from Rico. Um, I mean maybe we can put that down to the fact that she's been grieving and he's maybe a nice guy and so it just went a bit too far. I don't know. We don't know at this point. But um but yeah this is the this is the Hale Cottage so let's have a look let's have a tour of the Hale Cottage before I go off on another bloody tangent so you guys are probably screaming at the screen right now Michaela focus Michaela focus I'm focusing okay so Matilda's a botanist she has green fingers she loves to garden and she feels real at home when she's in nature. So I built the home around that fact. So let's come down. This is her greenhouse. So there she is actually. <laughs> of course she's in her study. But what is she doing? She, but she's, she's browsing the web right now. She's browsing the web. So yeah, this is her little sort of study area. It's it's micro. It's teeny weeny. It's four by four. It's a four by four study area. Um, but it leads out onto a relatively small greenhouse as well, where she can sort of do her work, plant her seeds. There was definitely. I'm so confused right now. There was a shelf just here. Where's that shelf gone? I am so confused. Where is that shelf gone? There was a shelf just here. It was it was a, a metal shelf that came with the rest of the buckets, and I'm very confident as to where that's gone because it had so many seeds on it. It had so much stuff on it. So that's a bit strange. Where are you? Where have you gone? I mean it wasn't that but that could work mm. it's huge no the other one was smaller <sighs> anyway never mind we can deal with that at another time it's pretty inconsequential if there's a bloody shelf there Michaela Again, third person, sorry. Right, moving swiftly on. So, yeah, this is the cute little greenhouse. I didn't want to clutter this too much. And if any of you guys have watched my previous videos or follow me on Twitter, you know I love clutter. Um, I love to clutter up my houses. I love to make them feel like they've been lived in prior to my Sims moving in or prior to, to me playing the Sims. And the reason for that is I'm a builder basically. I get enjoyment out of building. I'm 
so that basically means that I don't have sims there to clutter up my house because <laughs> if that makes sense I have to clutter it myself so this is the first time that I'm really going to be venturing into story mode but I'm excited right so this is the back of the greenhouse and um, I've just put some potted plants there um, and there's windows up here as well I just wanted it to have quite a modern but industrial theme to it um, I, I, I loved it I would love this greenhouse in this study I just think it's stunning um, Matilda also has a lot of curiosity in her she is um, I mean, can we have a look at her right so she is there she is oh we've caught her in a bad moment shall we sort of there we go <laughs> her eyes are refusing to remain the same um, but yeah, let's let's have a look at Matilda, shall we? She is so freaking cute. This is my lovely lady Matilda. Skills, okay, so she's got level three in charisma, um, level one in comedy, cooking, mixology, and video gaming. So she's clearly got her her priorities straight on that one, hasn't she? Um, we already know the relationships. Has oh, she's got some bits and bobs. What's she got? She's got a daisy in her pocket. She's got starter fruits. Um, basil, parsley, a chrysanthemum, bluebell, and a dim and gusty. <laughs> what the hell is a dim and gusty? Is that a cocktail? So she's got a cocktail in her drink because you just never know, right? Okay, so these are her traits. She's clumsy, she's outgoing, she's a collector, and she's a genius. Um, she is sort of maybe just mm, just maybe close to a quarter of the way through her her young adult life she's got 18 days until she ages up but to be honest with you I think I'm going to mess around with the aging anyway and I'm going to turn that up turn that up how else do you say it I'm going to increase it so as they um so as they don't die quite so quickly because one thing you guys definitely need to know about me I'm a crier. I'm a crier. Like if something gets to me, if something upsets me, I friggin cry. And I am potentially planning on getting a camera so as we can, I can sort of talk to the camera and, and we can interact um, even better just rather than just a voice recording. So you may very well in the future see tears from me. Um, and if that happens, you are more than welcome to judge because I judge myself fiercely as well. I truly do. Okay, so this lovely lady, as we were saying, she's outgoing, she's a collector, she's genius and she's clumsy. Um, needs, she's pretty good on everything. Owned businesses. You currently don't own businesses. What? Okay. So no, that's that's not something that we need to do. Okay, so basically she's she's good on all needs, on, on all accounts, but it's like 17 minutes past one in the morning. So it's just like, what is she doing? Like, woman, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you up so early? Let's go see let's go let's go see Gretchen. Let's go introdu introduce ourselves to Gretchen. Um, this is the entrance hall to my house. I am in love with this entrance hall. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's so cute. It's so pretty. I hope nothing else is missing. Now that those shelves have gone missing, it's making me question it. So fingers crossed nothing else has gone missing. But yeah, this is my entrance hall. Um, which is just like, you know, where you, where you drop off your, um, your coat and your keys. Maybe have a sit down, maybe have a read, because you know it's my house and there's always going to be books. There's going to be books everywhere, every build. There are, there will be books. If there's no books in this, well, we've already seen that there's books in this, but if there's no other books, I'll be shocked. So yeah, so this is the entrance hall. These are the stairs, obviously going upstairs. This is the cute little teeny weeny teeny weeny little living room we've got a shag shaggy rug we've got a, a, a magazine I love this lamp look at this lamp and this table huh, so pretty it's yellow it does come in different swatches I, I le legit try to change the swatch then 
Oh, did you see that? That's why this came up. Oh, okay, so that's what that does. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so what, what did I press for that? Why? This is embarrassing for me, isn't it? It's okay, guys. You don't have to. You don't have to lie. You can say that it is. And look at this cutesy lady. Look at this cutesy lady. Okay, so this is Gretchen. Let's see if we can get her in a bit of a... a what are you doing? So this is this is Gretchen. Um, Gretchen Gifford. She is creative. She's a bit erratic. Um, that might be because of what she's she's been through. I'm just not too sure. She's only just joined us, so I don't know what sort of happened to her in the past, what her backstory is. I mean, like I, if I keep on banging on about this, I'm so sorry, but I've not played it before. So this is going to be an adventure for everybody. I have an idea of what's going to happen just because of the people that I've created and the scenarios that could take place. But if they, you know, which, which direction they go, I just don't know at this point. This is going to be fun for everybody. Nobody's going to know what's going to happen. It's going to be a surprise for me as it is for you guys, hopefully. So she's a little bit younger than Matilda. Not by much, but she's a little bit. She's a gregarious, and so gregarious sims build friendly relationships faster. Um, she loves the outdoors. As I said, she's a bit erratic, so these sims can talk to themselves and have unpredictable emotions, personality trait, but she is very creative. Um, and again, all of her needs are really good as well. So my sims have clearly um, become nocturnal in my absence. They've basically, uh, yeah, they they live they live for the night now, which is fine, I guess. Um, but yeah, so those are the those are our leading ladies. Um, these are the guys that we're going to be spending the more, most time with initially. I've created other characters, obviously. You've seen some of the other Sims, and I'm sure at some point we will be coming in contact with all of them. I might even be playing as some of them as well. Um, I definitely want to play in the Conspiracy Theorist um, household just because it's such a fun household. It's, it's a fun build, um, and I love the characters that are there, so I definitely want to play with them. Whether I play with the other three households that I've created for this, um, or within this town, because I've got households in um, Solani now. We have a look at what the weather was doing. Okay, so it's the summertime. Um, when I initially got the seasons pack, I won it, which was just absolutely phenomenal in every single way um, and it was super hot in the UK when I won it so I basically decided to go straight to winter I was like if I can't if I can't survive in this heat I'll just pretend that it's cold I'll go into the sims but uh, I then sort of understood that you know it was super hot with the laptop you know it was it was not helping the heat situation it was aggravating the heat situation so I was just like no I can't do this so I just left it to summer. I was like, no, it can be the same as theirs. We'll start with summertime. So according to this, we are more than halfway through our summertime. So autumn is on its way. Um, current weather, we've got some light rain, but it is warm. Oh my gosh, we could have some thunderstorms. I'm so freaking excited right now. I can't even, oh my gosh, I need to breathe. Breathe, Michaela, breathe. That's because, you know, um, I love thunderstorms so much. I know they're super dangerous and horrible things happen in them. I know my brain understands this, but I still get excited. I'm not going to lie. I still get excited whenever I hear one. It's just perfect. Curl up next to the window. Get yourself a horror book. Put a blanket around your shoulders. And oh my gosh, yeah, maybe, you know, I've, I've, I'm lucky enough to have log burning fires in my front and back rooms downstairs. So, you know, pop a couple of logs on the fire oh yeah that is that is that is me in a cup of tea i love that that's my favorite thing in the world anyway let's carry on so yeah um so light rain today warm forecast of thunderstorms okay okay that's not too bad i guess i mean what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna send them both to bed okay so darling i'm afraid that we don't have we don't have a um, a place for you to sleep. We don't have a bedroom. 
And suddenly Gretchen's just got all flirty. What are you watching? She's watching my films. <laughs> Miss Hilda, where are you going? She's going to browse books. See, she's she's a clever egg, is is Matilda. She is a clever egg. Where has she gone? Actually, I need to show you guys the upstairs, don't I? I'm trying to get them to bed. I'm um, Matilda, you need to sleep. Okay, so we've got our upstairs. So these are some net curtains that are um, CC nets and they're really, really long, so they stretch down all the way down there which is bizarre but there we go okay so this is the upstairs of the Hale cottage we've got some nice art quite girly but again still with the um, sort of beautiful timber um, coming through some cutesy black and white monochrome wallpaper um, a little heart mirror just to soften it up a little bit um, yeah we are missing something we're missing a we're missing a bench. I had a bench just here. So that's weird. So we're missing the bench here as well, which is quite irritating. But yeah, there was supposed to be a little bench here and there's a place where you can sort of read. It's where she was actually going to browse her books. And this is her bedroom. If you've been on my Twitter, if you've been on my YouTube, you will have seen this as being my banner, definitely at some point, because I just love it. It's so gorgeous. If I could have it as my as my bedroom, I would. I'd love it. It's just so beautiful. The wallpaper, the bricks, the colours, yes, the huge, the huge rug that's just a little bit moth bitten and yeah, it's it's cool. Um, and then we go straight through to the bathroom. Um, I love having open space bathrooms. I know it's, I know it sounds strange, and most people are thinking, "What are you talking about?" But I love it. Um, it's one of my biggest dreams to have a roll-top bathtub in my my bedroom. But to be fair with you, I don't necessarily think the same thing about the toilet. And to be quite honest with you, I I do prefer privacy when it comes to that so let's just do that I think that could look quite cute anyway if you wanted to do it or is that me yeah that was me I will make that brick which is cute so you're giving some privacy there now I'm unsure as to whether this is even usable for my sims I don't know so let's do some player testing shall we Oh my gosh, who wants to celebrate with me? Thank you. 
Okay guys, so the bathroom is about finished. What do you think of it? Do you like it? It's um, it's quite cute. It's a bit eclectic, which is again always always my taste. We've got a cute little seating area just there. I'm I'm real happy with it. I love the bathroom, and it's like you go into this cute little cute little bedroom. And look, she's got her plants and whatnot. Because, like I said, she's a botanist. She got the green fingers. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say goodbye. Um, everyone's gonna say goodbye. Let's let's see where where Matilda is. Let's see if she can actually get into the bath, shall we? Everybody, everybody, hold your breath and cross your fingers. Can Matilda? She's happy. Oh, beautifully decorated from good environment. Having decorations around makes for happy environs. Yay! There she is. She's she's gotten into the bath. I feel super creepy. Feel super creepy right now, but she's able to take a bath, which is just phenomenal. That's awesome. Because this is going to be the main, the main one. So yeah. In episode two, so the in video two, the next one. I don't know if they could be episodic at this point. There is no storyline really going on. Well, actually, let's just sum everything up, shall we, before we leave? So we have the beautiful blue-haired Matilda, who's having a great time in the bath right now. Little spook. Um, she's apparently having an affair with the next door neighbour, Tannis, and um, apparently. So that's a bit strange. She's just had a new ha new housemate move in, in the form of Gretchen, the beautiful pink haired Gretchen, who is currently asleep on the sofa because she hasn't got a bed. She's got no bed, no bedroom. She's a little bit homeless at the moment. Which that's certainly, I can assume that's the way she's feeling anyway. So yeah, we've got um, Matilda. She's now going for snoozies under. Uh, a thousand layers of, of cushions and pillows um so yeah what do you think of the girls what do you think of the house what do you think of everything i'd love to know your thoughts and um, i'm so sorry that this has been the randomest and strangest and most erratic video ever created in the world of sims um, we've looked through my CC, we've looked through here, we've, we've spoken about a couple of the other sims that I've created, um, but yeah, I'm thinking the next episode we're going to be making, trying to make little Gretchen feel a little bit more at home, I think. She's awake, what's she doing? So yeah, I think... What? I think this is her erratic trait. What is that? Talking with friends. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, who is she talking with? And now what is she trying to do? She wants to do some grilling. She is hungry. But yeah, so I think it's it's about time that we, we made her feel a little bit more at home. Um and seeing what we can do about the whole bedroom situation. Is she actually insane? Where is she? She's grilling hot dogs. Please don't burn everything down, Gretchen. You're in, you're in the rain. You're in the rain grilling hot dogs. But yeah, what do you think of the guys? I'd love to know your thoughts and your opinions. As I was going to say, but she interrupt me, interrupted me with the whole hot dog making scenario you need to go inside i don't know if she's going to get poorly if she's outside for too long I've no idea but we kind of have this building here guys so yeah i'm thinking next video we get this little one this little lady her own room um and give her give her a sense of homeliness i don't know what her story is she's she's standing outside eating her hot dogs now she's just going to leave it there. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there as well. This is like this was her saying. This is Gretchen saying, Mika, leave it. And I am. So yeah, this is me. Thank you so much, guys, for um, <laughs> if you've made it this far into the video. I am shocked. I am shocked to my very core, and I can only thank you from the 
the bottom of my heart it means the world to me um, I've had an absolute blast as I always do cannot wait um, for the next part and yeah thank you once again for um, spending some time with me and I will look forward to spending some time with you again very soon you take care guys see you later bye 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 bye, bye.